the minimum standard. You're okay with, oh, a few being killed because those few are not part of your families. Those few are not your citizens. We do not need handouts from you. We do not need handouts from, from these nations. You sit down, you constantly want our country to be down. You want our continent to be down so that you say, oh, we sent them five million pounds for the election. That's payers' money. Do we look like we need five million pounds? Does Nigeria look like it needs 5 million pounds? We so guys, the British High Commissioner to Nigeria has come under fire by Aisha Yusufu for commending the 2023 election in Nigeria. She said the election was fair, as in she's commending this election, telling INEC that they did a good job. She was like, it was just few people that were killed. You can imagine these people that enjoy full democracy in their own country. We all know that the United Kingdom had their election not quite long. There was no recorded killings as in, in the UK. But when it comes to Nigeria, we saw all that happened during the presidential and even the governorship election. And this woman has the boldness to tell the world that this election is commendable. I don't know. Is it that, you know, is it that they are just carried away by, they don't want the politicians to start talking against them or what? Why is it that they are falling that cheap to our politicians? Why, why are they aligning with our politicians? Instead of them to call a spade a spade. You know, even a blind man has seen what has happened in Nigeria during this election season. As in, there have been so much violence in this election. Check out what happened in Lagos yesterday. How people were killed. People were denied the, their voting rights. You know, some tribes were asked not even to come out to vote. That if they attempt coming out, let them just know that they are coming out to vote for the APC. These were some of the things that we saw during the presidential election and also during the governorship election. And I tell you, this woman is telling the world that this election is commendable. So guys, Aisha Yusuf has taken on her. Let me allow you to watch this video. Congratulations, Katrina. They heard you. Yes, indeed, they heard you. You came out to tell us that the 2023 election, you found it fascinating. You found it fascinating that people were killed. You found it fascinating that people were injured, people were armed. You find it fascinating the results were being changed. You find it fascinating that violence was brought into the election. Well, they've heard you. They've heard you loud and clear. And the gubernatorial election, they unleashed more violence. More people have been killed. More people have been harmed. More people have been disenfranchised. More people have been refused to perform their civic duty. The same thing that you not accept in your own country. You come to our country and you sit down, you're fascinated by an election that is mad with violence because of course, it's, it's, it's a horror film. You can watch live happening. Again and again and again we have stand. This double standard, this two-faced standard, we do not want thing. You sit in your pretty little countries, you have election where people are free to go out and vote, where nobody is afraid for their lives, where nobody is killed when they go out for election, and then you come to our own place, you are setting minimal standard. You're okay with, oh, a few being killed. Because those few are not part of your families. Those few are not your citizens. We do not need handouts from you. We do not need handouts from, from these nations. You sit down, you constantly want our country to be down. You want our continent to be down. So that you say, oh, we sent them five million pounds for the election. That's payers' money. Do we look like we need five million pounds? Does Nigeria look like it needs 5 million pounds? We have said to you, stop giving a enabling environment for people who loot our nation dry and take them to your places and invest them there. There must be minimum standard. We're sitting down here, people are being killed because they want to exercise their civic duty. And you come to tell us that we should be proud of an election that is so mad. So guys, we all know that this election is just, you know, a fraud. It's a fraud, considering how INEC told Nigerians that they must get their PVC. And I tell you, people left their engagements to go for this PVC registration. We all know it was a tough task. 
going to register for this PVC. And when it was collection time, it was another hell on Nigerians just to collect their PVC. And then when it also got to the time of voting, people were intimidated. And INEC has gone on to and INEC has gone ahead to call results, even without considering these areas that there were so much intimidations and, you know, voters were not allowed to come out to vote, you know, for fear of being attacked. Honestly, is this a democracy? Is this what Nigerians are looking forward to? Honestly, is this the kind of country we are trying to build? What is Nigeria turning out to become? So, guys, I just felt I should share this. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below please don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell please give this video a like so that youtube can recommend it to others and let me know what you think in the comment section below thank you